So with this doorway, the jams will be sitting hard down on the timber floor. So they've both got to be exactly the right length. Now the drama is, is that with an old floor, or even a new floor sometimes, the opening might not be level. There might be a few millimetres difference from that side of the floor to that side of the floor. So if you cut the jam, or both jams exactly the same length, more often than not, by the time this jam goes down hard in the ground, the top isn't going to be level. So what you need to do is to place the hinge side jam where it's meant to go, and then get a level, and level across from the hinge side jam across to the other opening. So get that nice and level, which is right there. Then mark it, and now we can measure the length of this jam. Which just happens to be from the floor two three fifty. That one there was two three forty eight. So there's two mil difference. Let's cut that jam. Alrighty. Get that around the right way. That's perfect to our line. Now, both jams are cut, now we need to cut the head. Now how wide you cut your door head will depend on how wide your door is. Now I have an 820 wide door. There it is. That's 820 millimetres wide. Now the gap on either side of your door is recommended to be between two and a half and three millimetres. I'm using three millimetres, so we add three on either side. That's millimetres. Now on the other side of that gap, we have our door jam, which is 17 millimetres. So that's 17 on that side and 17 on this side. This is very rough. So we've got 17 for door jam, 3 mil gap, 820 door, 3 mil gap, and 17 mil jam. So we add those together. So we've got 17, 17, 3, 3, and 820. And we finish up with 860 millimeters. And that's the size that we cut our door head. So I mark the head at 860 millimetres, which is there, and now I'll cut that to length. Now you might also notice that I'm using a rebated jam, which just saves me down the track of putting the door stop on. Now you could use a flat jam, like this one here, but you'll need to install the door stop afterwards. The next thing you need to do is that we need to rebate this jam out so that these two finishes, that edge and that edge, meet. So we place this offcut onto our jam, onto the door jam head, and then just simply mark that. Now we check this section out which will bring these two surfaces together. Now if you've got a flat jam like this one here all you need to do is to get another section of flat jam put it on like that mark it and then just check out about halfway check out this section here 
and then this piece will sit inside that checkout. And when we're making this checkout, we don't want to cut into this section here. So the saw goes down and it'll finish up right where those two edges meet. Once you've made that cut, just simply check that out and then do the same to the other end. Now just make sure that it's nice and flat and square, which that is. That's beautiful, okay. And once this is all done, it's just a matter of nailing the whole thing together. And with that door head now cut, let's go ahead and put that door jam together. Now before we get too excited, I just want to check one more time that both of those jams are actually level. I think I've got a touch of OCD. So I'm just placing these jams back in position. And I'll get up top and just have a quick look. Now that is perfect. We're good to go. There's nothing worse than putting the whole jam together, standing it up and seeing that it's at a level. So it's just a good idea just to check a couple of times before you commit yourself. Commit yourself? I think I need to be committed. Now what you need to do to put this jam together is run some glue along both of those checkouts. And then just simply nail it together. And there you have it. That is now ready to be installed. So your job now is to go back to the shed and assemble that door jam, and then come back for the next video, which I'll leave a link for in the description box below, where we'll install that door jam and then hang the door. You're almost there. All right, well I hope you enjoyed and found that video useful. And as per usual, a big thumbs up is greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already, please, hit that subscribe button for more handy tips. <sighs> what are you doing? It's not gonna put itself together. Back to the shed and I'll see you next time. And good luck. Cheers.